from the vault. You got a lot in the vault. Yeah, so let's first start with a video that has something to do with these glasses, because I think okay. that's the easiest thing to do, and you can get an idea of what we were doing earlier in the week. Yes. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is my desk full of rainbows. I'm doing two things here. One is making a little demo here for the LED glasses, so you can see text scrolling and then also the LED rings uh, glowing. So that's uh, some Arduino test code working out here. And then over here, I've got my new Seesaw dev board based on the ATtiny817. Um, so this is connected to a Metro Mini over I squared C. So this is the controller. And this is sending NeoPixel commands over I squared C to here. And then I got a ring here just to demo it. And then I got on the oscilloscope checking out the signals, making sure they're nice and clean, looking good. Um, so this is going to be the replacement for the uh, SAMD09 chipset. Um, really hard to get that chip, but this one is a little bit more available, uh, less expensive, and also three or five volt capable. So altogether, kind of a nice little upgrade to our seesaw designs. Okay, and you have some breakouts. Okay, this one, this is a four, ch sorry, eight channel ADC that uh, runs over I squared C. So I'm making a seven QT breakout for it. Except. Um, I'm also, again, redesigning the CP2104 USB serial adapter board to the CP2102. Also going USB-C while we're at it. Uh, this is a kind of a new sensor from ST. It's a like 8x8 multi-zone time of flight sensor, the VL53L5CX. So it'll break out. All right. That's top secret. Yeah. Coming soon. Yeah. All right.